I suppose as an assertion of autonomy in practice, I wanted to make a body of work over three years, which I titled A Consequence Of, and the title became a sort of canopy under which I could work. In this case, for the doc, the title is A Breather of Air. First of all, I think I was drawn to the sense of the body in this building. I began to feel as though I were treating the interior space as a lung that I wanted to open. It also deals with this kind of respiratory stress that people feel in terms of contemporary culture. We have so much um, commercial vividness blown at us every day and so it has that sort of sense of tension. It's not all dispersed in a heavenly way. There's this kind of sense of something's wrong. Falling into many pieces has this very singular drawing, a form through which matter falls. I really wanted to get some sort of suspension into the material. One of them, it's a latex, and it's falling down in little rivulets, but while they're falling, they're also ascending, because there is this release of energy and also of the shadow. And the shadow, of course, is critical because the actual piece itself is only half itself without the shadow. It's a combination of duality of, of being and in that sense of, of the physical and I suppose more spiritual being in some ways. I guess with matter of fact, what I really wanted to do was to create a drawn sense of energy in space so it has that alertness and energy. It proposes that in fact, there are very few facts involved in the perception and engagement with matter. Drawing with the six mil bar, which is really soft, so it was really nice to just kind of curve it. The interior piece is translucent, so it's all about that lightness and nothing is fixed. And I think that's kind of the point of the piece in a way, that there isn't really a matter of fact. It's actually all much more ambiguous. Gallery 2 is glorious. I really felt the space here at the dock is unique and offered me opportunity. There's this lovely tension. I like imperfect geometries because they create those tensions. So I was very drawn to the height. And if you put something into a space like that, you've got to induce a third or other kind of sensation. So the materials of that became a huge palette of different references, some found, some made. And we kept thinking, well, modernism is a bubble and we create all these mini worlds and the, the notion of physical reality is different. It's complex, it's varied. What flows between it is very rogue and very different. So each of them carry an attempt at ordering something that is in flow. There is a law of order on things. Things are induced into order, but within that then there's all this chaos. A breather of air. Well, <laughs> there's so many references in that for me, we're in a, each of us have acquired and gained our consciousness over time and the respect that we should give to our minds, our consciousness in the face of an enormous data bombardment that we're going through. We have to realize that like data is just, these are just like points of interaction. It's not knowledge, it's not thinking, it's not understanding. So this piece is very much like a breather of air, it's an assertion of consciousness. A unique Forms of Continuity in Space is a futuristic title. It's about almost a Darwinian evolution of form in itself, as material itself is changing. I always liked hot water bottles. All these bottles have been slept with by people. That's one of the things I wanted with it, so that the bottles carry this kind of legacy of the psychology of the persons in their dreams and the cohabitation in the bed. So they're in different states of degrading and so on. This wonderful suspended peace across the room and it has a sort of a feeling like restful place, but it makes the room itself into a sculpture. I wanted to create these moments of that you're looking at things you recognize materially but they're inducing a different sensation and therefore you might get a feeling of the fact that actually material changes and the world is changing. I think that that space of uncertainty is, is the space that artists need to keep open and to keep prompting new perception and that's what I'm trying to do anyway. <laughs>